Stop, Bill 13. 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 Dear Honorable John Malloy, on behalf of concerned Catholic parents and citizens from other faith traditions, we are here to tell you about our grave concerns with Dalton McGinty's Bill 13. With this proposed legislation, we believe that the state is increasingly trespassing on parental rights and pushing programs in our schools which undermine the religious and moral values parents instill in their kids at home. Dalton McGinty's Bill 13 purports to be about punishing bullies and reducing bullying in school. We completely agree with those apparent goals. The most common reason kids are bullied is because of their physical appearance. For example, being too fat, too skinny, or wearing glasses. Contrary to what some are claiming, sexual orientation does not rank high on the list of reasons why kids are bullied. Kids may be bullied for other reasons. Bullying is always wrong, including reasons for same-sex attraction. We want the government to protect all our children and stop pushing an agenda which smacks of social engineering. Both Bill 13 has been criticized by parents, religious leaders, and family value groups all across Ontario over the controversial sex ed component of the proposed legislation. Dear John Malloy, as a mom of three children in elementary school, I am very alarmed to see a sexual agenda being imposed upon our children through Dalton McGinty's Bill 13. As a mom, I do not want my young children taught that there are six different genders. As a mom, I do not want my children taught that their gender is not connected to their physical anatomy. As a faithful Catholic, I strongly object that our religious schools are being forced to permit books that contradict the Christian mission of the church. Bill 13 does all of these things. It violates parental rights and attacks the freedom of religion. The government may not share the values of traditionally principled families. However, it must nonetheless respect the right of parents to teach their children about human sexuality to their faith convictions without being undermined by the state. The bottom line is, this is too much information. This type of education does not benefit the child, but rather hurts the child by causing confusion and worry and pitting the schools against the parents. Dear Mr. Malloy, as parents we are called to be wise, prudent, and vigilant. We are called to protect our children when we sense danger. We see disputed gender theories being pushed on our kids at the very earliest grades. We rightfully worry that it may cause psychosexual confusion and gender identity confusion. This is wrong. Honorable Mr. Malloy, we ask you to represent your constituents. We respectfully demand that you vote against Liberal Bill 13. If you wish to vote in favor of a genuine anti-bullying legislation, we urge you to support the Progressive Conservative Bill 14. That bill, unlike Bill 13, does not have a sexual agenda. On behalf of concerned parents, grandparents, and faith-based students riding the, from the Kitchener Central Riding from many different faith traditions, we ask you to vote against Bill 13, unless the offensive clauses are removed. Stop Bill 13! Stop Bill 13! As a parent, why do you oppose Bill 13? I oppose Bill 13 because it affects the morality of my children. It really affects my ability as a parent to teach them what should be taught, because somebody else is going in there teaching things that they really don't need to know. 
and I pray to God that it doesn't go through. Catholic Parents of Ontario, a group based out of Waterloo Region, protested outside MPP John Malloy's office this morning. Stop Bill 13. Stop Bill They're rejecting 13. Bill 13. Stop it's anti-bullying legislation that the group calls social engineering. They're upset that it teaches LGBTQ gender identity and permits gay-straight alliances in schools. Many Catholic parents have been vocal about this bill, saying the anti-bullying plan would hamper Catholic teaching and silence students from expressing religious views. We prefer Bill 14, which doesn't have a sexual orientation. It strictly deals with bullying. And we're very kind and compassionate parents. We're against bullying, but we just want, we feel that we have not been heard and that we want to make sure that our MPPs have heard us. Shortly after our camera left.